My name is Donna Di Giuseppe, and I'm the author of a biographical novel based on the life of Sopanispa and Guisola. My first chapter is online at sopanispa.net. Today, I would like to talk about Sopanispa's personal influence on the life of the great master, Michelangelo Buonarroti. Michelangelo was famous throughout Italy by the time Sopanispa was born. When she was struggling to make a name for herself in the mid to late 1550s, her father wrote to the great mannerist to solicit a mentoring relationship of sorts for his daughter. Emil Carre wrote his first letter to Michelangelo on May 7, 1557. He addressed the master with the words, very excellent and magnificent, my most very honored sir. Master Michelangelo's talent was coveted from the de' Medici to the Pope, and yet Sofonisba's dedicated father was optimistic for his talented daughter and ambitious. But what the Anguissola family did not know was that the great Michelangelo needed to be needed at that time for his own personal reasons. It was just over one year since the, the death of his partner of 26 years, Urbino. Many months after Urbino passed, Michelangelo's grief remained undiminished as he wrote to his friend, the artist and art critic Giorgio Vasari, author of Lives of the Artist. My dear Monsieur Giorgio. I am hardly able to write, but at least I'll make some attempt to answer your letter. You know that Urbino is dead. While living, he kept me alive, and in dying, he taught me to die. Not with regret but with a desire for death. I have had him 26 years and found him entirely loyal and devoted. He has vanished from me and nothing is left to me but the hope of seeing him again in paradise. The greater part of me has gone with him and nothing but unending wretchedness remains in me. Your Michelangelo Buonarroti, Roma, February 23, 1556. Michelangelo had devoted his life to representing piety from his Pietà to his Sistine Chapel. And now, after all his personal sacrifices for the sake of his art, he felt abandoned, alone, and without purpose. In the midst of this pain, Michelangelo received Amilcare's letter on behalf of Sofonisba. In time, Sofonispa sent Michelangelo a drawing titled Little Boy Bitten, a rendering of her little brother crying. The master surely commiserated with the little boy's tears, for he returned to his work. He finished, among other things, his Rondanini Pieta. On May 15, 1558, Sofonispa's father wrote again to Michelangelo and said, Your very loving letters are so dear to me. After a lifetime of hiding his relationship to his lover, Michelangelo must have been moved to help the young woman who was trying to make it in a world that did not fully accept her, just as it had not fully accepted the master. Thank you.